This video is to answer a viewer's question regarding creating multiple windows in a uh, Python application using Qt4 Designer. Now, I in the past, I, I've gone over Qt4 Designer. I think it's a great little program if you just want to quickly um, create some windows uh, and, and create some Python script. Um, but also, I've gone over tutorials on why you shouldn't use GUI interfaces like that and why you should write your code out by hand because it would it shrinks the size of your script down dramatically. I mean, I'm talking like like an eighth the size. Anyway, um, this tutorial may not be my best tutorial because I'm not thoroughly um, knowledgeable on Qt because I normally use GTK and um, and we're being sloppy anyway because we're using Qt4 Designer, so I might be a little sloppy with what I do. But I just want to get the basic idea across to you. So let's go, let's go ahead and get started before I start chatting on too much. Open up Qt4 Designer, and once again, I am using Qt4 Designer. There's previous versions, obviously, Qt3 Designer. So if you're using a different version, things may be different. So I'm going to create a main window here. Create. Here's our main window. Just for fun, I'll just throw a few buttons down here and maybe a label of some sort. And I'll line these buttons up like so and we'll line everything else up vertically like that and just once again for fun I'll just say font and I'll change the font size it's like 36 and I'll also do a search over here in the property editors for alignment and we will change the horizontal alignment from left to center so our text is centered there and we'll change it to say hello world ta-da Okay, let's go ahead and save that. Oh, real quick, since we created buttons, let's just give them functionality just for fun. We'll hit F4, or you can click on this icon here for your signals and slot editor. And we're gonna drag from a button to the text, and we're gonna say when it's clicked, clear the text. Same with this one, just to have that functionality in there. And now we'll save it. Save as, uh, I've already created a folder to work in, so I'll go there, Qt, oops. Qt, Qt, test, and we'll call this one main win. It will automatically append .uid into that for user interface. And now we'll create another window. So we'll go file, new, and we'll create this time a widget window. Although it doesn't matter, you can create another main window or dialog window. Create that. Here it is right here. And we'll just add a label to that that says test window stretch it out a little bit and we'll just make the font a little bit larger like so and now we'll save that window save as and we'll call this one widget win we're done with the designer here so we'll go to our terminal here. We're in this folder. I'll say list. There are two files. And we're going to use a program called PYUIC4, which I believe stands for Python User Interface Converter 4. There's also one for Qt Designer 3 as well. Now, this program does not come with Qt4 Designer. It's actually in another package. If you do aptitude search uh, and we search the description of the file, we will search for um, PYUIC4, and you'll see that there's a package, which I have installed, called PYQT4-Dev-Tools. So this program we're going to use is in that package. Clear the screen, and yes, I know Control-L clears the screen. Viewers are constantly telling me that. I like to type clear. I know Control-L is faster. It doesn't really matter. Now, as I said, we're going to use PYUIC4, and we're going to do dash X um, to generate, it generates a little extra code that we're actually going to remove later on, but we're going to cheat and copy and paste some stuff, which people might complain about too, but we're already being sloppy using a GUI designer like Qt4 Designer. So we're going to make uh, this application based on uh, the user interface, main uh, win.ui. It will create an output file called main win.py. And that's created, I can cat that out if you'd like. .py, so there we go, we have our Python code here. And now we're gonna do the same thing for uh, our other user interface. So pyuic4-x widgetwin.ui 
dash O for output, and we'll create a widget win dot py file. Now we're going to create another script. Now both of these scripts are going to be called by our main script. So what we're going to do is we're going to say main, oh sorry, I'm going to use vim as my text editor. Once again, use whatever text editor you prefer. I'll just call this main.py. And of course, we're going to start off with our shebang line. We're always going to start our scripts off with a shebang line. And the shebang line is going to say uh, that we're going to use the environment Python. This lets your operating system know that this is a Python script. What type of script is it? It's a Python script. Otherwise, we'd have to run Python and the name of our script every time we want to run it. Uh, so we've created that. Now we're going to say import and we're going to say main win comma and widget win. These are our two scripts which we have in this same folder. You don't put the .py, it knows to, do, to put that in, so you just put the main name of the script and it will find it in that folder. So just doing that import option right there basically takes both those scripts and puts them into this script. It's as if they are being run. Let's go ahead and save that and real quick we're going to vim into our main win.py and we're going to cheat and copy and paste some stuff. We're going to copy and paste this line that says from uh, pyqt4 import qt core comma qtg uh, GUI. We'll go back into our main script here and paste that in there. Once again, I know a lot of people will complain that I'm copy and pasting code, but that's what I'm doing. It's, it's how I'm doing it. <laughs> now we're going to go back in here. And if you remember when we ran the PYUIC4, we used the dash X option, which wasn't really necessary, but allows us to cheat and copy and paste some code, which is these last few lines of code right here. And what I'm going to do is normally that dash X would be uh, to make this your main window, but we're going to create that main uh, PY um, Python script. Uh, so that we can call this so that if we decide to later on go and change something in QT Designer and regenerate this code, it doesn't override the changes we make. Because you see it says right up here, all changes made to this file will be lost. That's if you regenerate this code. So we're going to want a main Python script that we're creating that calls this information so that all this other stuff we're adding doesn't get lost. I hope that makes sense to you. We're going to say vim back into our main.py now and we'll paste in this code. Now if we save that, change mod plus x to make the script executable in the name of our main Python script. Now we don't have to make the other two scripts executable because they're being called by this executable script. Now we can run that main script. Ooh, yes, <laughs> I forgot to change something. We go in here. And as you can see here, I guess I should explain the same way, this is going to be creating stuff, creating some objects, a main window object based on our QT GUI module that we imported here. And then it's going to create a UI object, which is going to be looking for this right here, which does not exist in this script, it exists in our main win script. So what we have to say here is main win. Dot. So it knows that to look into that. And I'll show you, we'll save that. And real quick, we'll run that and you can see our main window starts up. We can click our button to clear the text out. If we go back into our main win.py, you can see right here we have our main a class called UI underscore main win. And that's what we just called in here. So from our main win.py script, look for this class and run it. Then we're going to, within that object that we just created, run the setup UI, which is within this main uh, class here. And we're passing it that we want to put this main window in there. And then we're going to show that. Great. How do we make the other window visible? Well, we do basically the same thing, but with the other script. We're going to say vim, actually, we can just cat it out, cat widget win.py and we'll grab these last few lines here. We don't need it all because some of these lines are repeated. We're just going to grab these four lines right here. Form, we're saying that's a uh, uh, QT GUI widget because that's the type of window it is. 
Uh, and then here it's creating another object, which we're actually going to rename uh, once we put it in here. We're going to go back into our main script here. And just below where it says main window show, we will paste in those four lines. And so we're creating that form object. Then here, let's rename this object to wid for widget. You can call it whatever you want, though. And we're going to say that is within our widget module. Widget win dot UI form. And then down here, we'll change this to wid setup form. So let's save that. Let's run our main script again. And this time, you'll see both windows have started up. We can close each one. Now, let's go back into our main um, widget win.py file. And just to explain before, just like I said, since uh, it generated a UI form uh, class within here, that's what we uh, put in there. And the first little function of that is our setup UI. So now that we've, we've copied and pasted that code in there, we can actually remove this code. So I'm just going to delete these lines here, save that. And I'll do the same in our main, dot, our main win dot py, come down here and remove these last few lines. And you'll see that our code will still run. Great. We're just, so we're just cleaning up. We're getting rid of the code we don't need. So these two windows open up. We can erase the text there. Now, if we were to go back into QDT Designer here and let's say add a button right there, we can save that window. And that regenerated our uh, UI here. So that recreated this file right here. So we need to recreate this, this file right here. So what we're going to do is, once again, use PY UCI. But this time, uh, it's UCI4, UIC4. We don't need to use the dash X option. Because as I said, that dash X option just adds those last few lines there which we already have in our main PY uh, uh, Python script. So here we can just say widget uh, win UI, and our output will be widget win dot PY. And to regenerate that now, if we just run our main PY script again, opens up both windows, and as you can see, we have that push button there, which doesn't do anything. And so now you see why I created that separate main window. Because if you didn't, when we made that change, it would have erased our changes. And once again, if you did add, add that little X in there, it's just going to add some extra lines of script that aren't necessary. But that's it. Now, obviously, you can, we're just starting up both windows at the start of the program. But you could create a function that um, hides and shows this window when you click one of these buttons. So you can do that later on. But just to make it simple, I wanted to show you how you can make multiple windows open up when you start up the script that you created, uh, the GUI interface in Qt4 Designer. Once again, I do not recommend using GUI interfaces like Glade or Qt Designer, but some people um, you know, just want to create a quick little, uh, little GUI window, um, even though it is extremely inefficient and very sloppy. Um, but I hope this answers the viewer's question. Can't remember their name. And I hope that you visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.